The Tang campaigned against the Western Turks, known as the Western Tuju in Chinese sources, were a series of military campaigns conducted during the Tang dynasty against the Western Turkic Khaganate in the 7th century CE. Early military conflicts were a result of the Tang interventions in the rivalry between the Western and Eastern Turks in order to weaken both. Under Emperor Taizong, campaigns were dispatched in the western regions against Kara Koja in 640, Karasar in 644 and 648, and Kutcha in 648. The wars against the western Turks continued under Emperor Gaozong, and the Khaganate was annexed after Gen. Su Dingfang's defeat of Kahan Ashina Helo in 657. The Western Turks attempted to capture the Tarim Basin in 670 and 677, but were repelled by the Tang. The Second Turkic Empire defeated the fragmented Western Turks in 712 and absorbed the tribes into the new empire. The areas controlled by Tang China came under the dynasty's cultural influences and the Turkic influence of the ethnically Turkic Tang soldiers stationed in the region. Indo-European prevalence in Central Asia declined as the expeditions accelerated Turkic migration into what is now Xinjiang. By the end of the 657 campaign, the Tang had reached its largest extent. The Turks, Tibetans, and the Tang competed for control over Central Asia until the collapse of the Tang in the 10th century. Background the Gok Turks split into the Western and Eastern Turkic Khaganates after a civil war. Allied with the Byzantine Empire, the Western Turks were mired in wars against the Sassanid Persians. The Western Turks expanded as the Khaganate of the Eastern Turks declined. Early military conflicts Emperor Gaj, Taizong's predecessor, allowed the assassination of a Western Turk Kahan by Eastern Turkic rivals on November 2, 619. Emperor Taizong, in his war against the Western and Eastern Turks, employed the Chinese strategy of using barbarians to control barbarians in 641. He instigated a civil war between the Eastern and Western confederations of the Western Turks by supporting Izbari Afu Kahan. The Kahan in the east, Tulu Kahan, invaded the oasis states controlled by Izbari Afu in the west. He assassinated his rival and unified the Western Turkic Khaganate. Following the reunification, Tulu Kahan began orchestrating raids against Chinese cities. In 642, Emperor Taizong once again intervened by assisting a revolt against Tulu's reign. Disaffected Western Turkic tribes had requested the support of Taizong in Chang'e, who enthroned a new Kahan Urbis Sagai. Urbis Sagai was able to exert control over the Turkic tribes and the former Kahan fled in exile. The Tang court and the Western Turks began negotiating over the control of five oasis states in the Tarim Basin. Urbis Sagai wanted to strengthen his ties with the Tang through a royal marriage with the Tang princess. Although the oasis states were vassals of the Turks, Urbis Sagai did not have the power to simply cede them to the Tang. The possibility of further diplomatic exchanges ended when Taizong began his invasion of the Tarim Basin. Campaigns against the Tarim Basin Oasis States Campaign against Karakoja Karakoja had been ruled by the Qu family since 498. The most sinicized of the Oasis States, Karakoja had adopted Chinese script as its official script, the Chinese classics as a subject for study, and an imperial bureaucracy. As the oasis state nearest to Tang China, the Chinese constituted a large portion of Karakoja's population. Karakoja also served as China's main Silk Road trade route into Central Asia. The route was severed when the Western Turk to Lukahan, enthroned in 638, promised Karakoja military support. Campaigned against Karasar in 632, Karasar submitted to the Tang as a tributary state, as did the nearby kingdoms of Kashgar and Khotan. Tensions between Tang and Karasar grew as the Chinese expanded further into Central Asia, and peaked where the Tang defeated and annexed Gaochang. 
The Chinese forces stationed in Gaochang, a short distance away from Karasar, posed a direct threat to the Oasis state. Karasar allied with the Western Turkic Khaganate and ceased sending tributes to the Tang court. A military campaign was dispatched by the Tang Emperor against Karasar, led by Commander Guo Shao Kei, Protectorate General of the Yangtze Protectorate. The army marched towards Karasar from Yaldas. The Tang forces mounted a surprise attack at dawn, resulting in the annexation of Karasar and the capture of its king. The Western Turk army to retake Karasar was defeated by the Tang. Karasar was controlled by proxy through a Tang loyalist, Long Lipo's Hun, brother of the captured ruler. He was deposed in 644 by his cousin, with the support of the Kingdom of Kutcha, nominally a Tang vassal, and the Western Turks. In 648, the Tang conducted a second military campaign against Karasar, commanded by Ashina Sher, a member of the Turkic Ashina royal family. Karasar fell, the usurper was beheaded, and Tang rule was re-established under another Tang loyalist. A Chinese military garrison was established in the kingdom, the first of the four garrisons of Anxi. Campaign against Kutcher after the fall of Karasar, Ashina Sher's army marched towards the neighboring kingdom of Kutcher. Sher's decoy horsemen led the defending Kutcher forces, numbering 50,000 soldiers, into an ambush. The Kutcher soldiers retreated to the nearby city of Aksu after their defeat. The Tang army besieged the city for 40 days. Kutcher surrendered on 19 January 649 and Sher captured the king. By employing diplomacy, the surrounding tribes loyal to Kutcher submitted to the Tang. Campaign against the Western Turks Ashina Helu, a former Tang general in Gansu, fled west and declared himself Kahan of the Western Turks, unifying the Turkic tribes under a single Khaganate. Helu invaded the kingdoms of the Tarim Basin and led frequent raids against bordering Tang cities. Emperor Gaozong sent an army led by Su Dingfang to defeat the Western Turks. The Turkic commanders Ashina Misha and Ashina Bujen, rivals of Helu, led the side divisions. 10,000 Akha horsemen participated in the campaign as allies of the Tang. Po Runs, an Ugha leader enthroned by Emperor Taizong, oversaw the Akha cavalry as a vice commander. He served under the leadership of the Yanran Protector General and Vice Protector General, administrators of the Yanran Protectorate. The army departed from Ordos in March and traversed through 3,000 miles of steppes and desert, without stopping by the Oasis Kingdoms for supplies. Along the way, tribes like the Chum Kun and Su offered additional reinforcements. The troops reached the Kyrgyzstan by November, enduring the harsh conditions of the winter. Su Dingfang defeated Helu's army of 100,000 cavalry at the Battle of Ertish River, fought along the Ertish River in the Altai Mountains region. Helu had been caught off guard by Su's ambush and suffered a large amount of casualties. The Kahan attempted to flee to Tashkent but was caught the next day and sent to the Tang capital as a prisoner. The remaining tribes of the Western Turks surrendered. Gaozong pardoned Helu, but the Kahan died the following year. Further campaigns The dissolution of the Khaganate fragmented the Western Turkic tribes. In 670, a Western Turkic tribe allied with the Tibetan Empire and invaded the Tarim Basin. The Yangtze Protectorate was abandoned and the Tang withdrew back to Turfin. Control of the Oasis states returned to the Tang between 673 and 675, and the Protectorate was re-established. In 677, the Western Turks conducted a second military expedition with the Tibetans against the Tang in the Tarim Basin. The Turks were repelled by the Tang and defeated in 679. Tang forces captured the leader of the Western Turks and annexed Tokmak, which was transformed into a military base. Iltrush Kahan founded the Second Turkic Empire after a successful revolt in 682. 
The expansion of the Khaganate continued under Iltrush's brother, Kabahin Kahan. In 712, Kul Tijan, son of Iltrush, defeated the remnants of the Western Turks, members of the Turgis Confederation. Now defeated, the Western Turks were absorbed into the new empire. Historical Significance the Tang campaigns marked the end of Indo-European Xinjiang, as Turkic linguistic and cultural influences spread into Central Asia. Tang China was responsible for the influx of Turkic migrants. Because of the number of Turks that served in the Tang military as soldiers and generals during the dynasty's military expeditions, Tang influence in the Central Asia encompassed art, trade, and politics. Chinese coinage remained in use in Xinjiang after the Tang withdrew from the region. Central Asian art adopted many Tang Chinese stylistic elements, like the Sankai three-color glaze used for ceramics. According to Chinese sources, Turkic states and polities still value ties with the courts of dynasties in northern China as a form of prestige. The Kara Khan and Narakite Khans held titles that identified them as Tabgich or Kite, named after kingdoms in northern China. Tang architectural influences are apparent in the Buddhist architecture in Dunhuang. Citations Carrot Wexler 1979, 223, Carrot Ben 2002, 138, Carrot ABC Wexler 1979, 224, Carrot Wexler 1979, 224 to 225, Carrot Hansen 2012, 91, Carrot Wexler 1979, 225, Carrot Wexler 1979, pp. 226 to 228, Carrot ABCD Wexler 1979, 226, Carrot ABCDE Grusset 1970, 99, Carrot AB Wexler 1979, 228, Carrot ABC SCAF 2009, 183, Carrot AB Twitch at 2000, 116, Carrot SCAF 2009, 181, Carrot SCAF 2012, 249, Carrot SCAF 2009, 189, Carrot ABC SCAF 2009, 184, Carrot Grusset 1970, 102, Carrot Twitchit and Wexler 1979, 280, Carrot SCAF 2009, pp. 284 to 286, Carrot Twitchit and Wexler 1979, pp. 285 to 286, Carrot Twitchit and Wexler 1979, 286. Carrot Beckwith 2009, 131. Carrot Grusset 1970, pp. 100. Carrot AB Millwood 2007, 42. Carrot Millwood 2007, pp. 41 42. Carrot Millwood 2007, 41. Carrot Findlay 2004, 41. Bibliography. Beckwith, Christopher I, Empires of the Silk Road, A History of Central Eurasia from the Bronze Age to the Present, Princeton University Press, ISBN 9781-4008-2994-1, Ben, Charles D, China's Golden Age, Everyday Life in the Tang Dynasty, Oxford University Press, ISBN 9780195176650 Findlay, Carter Vaughan, The Turks in World History, Oxford University Press, ISBN 9780199884254 Grusset, René, The Empire of the Steppes, A History of Central Asia, Rutgers University Press, ISBN 9780-8135-1304-1. Hansen, Valerie. The Silk Road. A New History. Oxford University Press. 
ISBN 978-0-19-515931-8. Millwood, James A. Eurasian Crossroads. A History of Xinjiang. Columbia University Press. ISBN 978-0-231-13924-3. Scaff, Jonathan Karam. Nicola Di Cosmo, ed. Military Culture in Imperial China. Harvard University Press. ISBN 978-0-674-03109-8. Scaff, Jonathan Karam. Suai Tang China and its Turco-Mongol Neighbors. Culture, Power, and Connections, 580-800, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19-973413-9, Twitchit, Dennis, H.J., Van Derven, ed., Warfare in Chinese History, Brill, ISBN 978-9004-11774-6, Twitchit, Dennis, Wexler, Howard J. Cao Sung and the Empress Wu, The Inheritor and the Usurper, in Twitchit, Dennis, The Cambridge History of China, Volume 3, Suan and Tianj China, 589-906, Part 1, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, pp. 242-289, ISBN 978-0-521-21446-9, Wexler, Howard J., Tai Sung the Consolidator, in Twitchit, Dennis, The Cambridge History of China, Volume 3, Suai and Tianj China, 589-906, Part 1, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, pp. 188-241, ISBN 978-0-521-21446-9.